if I keep telling myself I hate marathons, I hate marathons, I hate them, well, of course I will then. Of course I'm going to not enjoy it. Of course the training's going to be half assed Of course I'm going to fail because I've already failed up here before I've even started. Your mind is an incredibly powerful tall weapon. So on today's video, we're going to be covering a couple of things and um, just talking quickly about what I'm going to be doing on this channel a little bit more following some conversations had on Instagram. Um, we're going to be talking about my next race and the main topic of today's video is um, what my next biggest race is going to be, um, what I didn't think I would be doing and just talking about that really, talking about training. All those kind of good things looking forward to documenting the training more um, being more accountable especially during this type of training i think using the gopro more will make me feel a lot more accountable hopefully the wind isn't too bad today um so yeah let's go we're just going to do an easy run today glue still feeling a little bit sore um so hopefully it's not too bad stick around i promise you want to stick around because we're going to be talking about the big race that I've entered. Ooh, this train's not great. <laughs> Good job I've not got a sore glute. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about that in a bit. I know we say it all the time, YouTubers, oh, press like, please. Um, but there's a reason why we say that. It's so easy to watch a video and even enjoy it and not press it. But pressing it helps the channels out massively. More likes and more engagement, more YouTube things. Cool, that must be a good video. The more it helps me, the more I can help you. Voice going all weird there. You! <laughs> Shuckers comment. Tell me I need a haircut. Tell me I look stupid in pink. Whatever. And subscribe, of course. So, kind of annoyingly, it wasn't even a running related injury. Um, it's sort of an old lifting injury that came back, cropped back the other day when I was paintballing. But that's not the main topic of today's video, just gonna talk about it quickly, two miles in and glutes feeling better. Definitely taking it easy today. It's just gonna be like a sort of recovery jog, just to get the blood moving, muscles moving, limber up a little bit. So, this video, first of all, gonna talk about Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. First I'm going to talk about my um, next race, which is the Marden Half Marathon. Um, a very good course, very nice, flat course. Not too open like today's run in terms of wind. Be aiming for 117, 118. So I've got about four weeks left of training for that. Now I have already put down a solid training block for my previous half marathon, but I fell well short of the target due to a week on holiday, just drinking too much and having too much of a holiday on holiday. The base is definitely there. I mean, had I not had that week of binging, I think I would have been definitely in 118 shape then. So. Yeah, getting back on track with it during this block. Um, I'll put the details up here, but I um, hit a solid, really solid, sort of a long interval session the other day, 12 miles in total, um, with 4.2 miles at well under six minute mile pace, and then 3.2 miles, uh, again, same sort of pace. And I just felt really strong on those reps, mentally, 
and physically. So, you sat here wondering, what is his next big race? What is he doing? What can it be? Tell us. Well, I'm gonna put you out of your misery and tell you. This is the first time I've announced it anywhere, but I'm putting it out there now, that I've entered Manchester Marathon next year, all paid for, and we're going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to set myself a target of two hours and 45 minutes. And I'm going to put the work in. I'm going to do the hours, the miles, the long runs, the long hard runs, the easy runs, the mobility, the stretching, the rolling, the waking up at crack of dawn, staying up late running after work, running before work, all of it. I want to be hitting peak week, 75, 80 miles. I just feel like I really want to put the work in. You might know historically on this channel that I always say I hate marathons. And do you know what? That's part of my biggest issue. Yes, it's true. I enjoy short, fast runs more. 5K I can do, 16 minutes 41 at 90 kilograms. I think that's pretty good. 10K, currently 35, 35. I'm sure if I had a 10K soon, I could go under 35. But I just tend to mentally enjoy the longer runs less. And that's what I'm going to change mentally. I want to change that positive mindset, a change in thought process to will myself, convince myself to succeed at this new target, at this new journey. And that's what it all comes down to. At the end of the day, your mind is an incredibly powerful tall weapon if you think something and tell yourself something then it's so much easier to achieve it um, obviously you've got to put in the work but quite often that's how I balance my weight training with running with four kids with work is up here it's just showing good mental resilience and mental toughness and if I keep telling myself I hate marathons, I hate marathons, I hate them. Well, of course I will then. Of course I'm going to not enjoy it. Of course the training's going to be half assed Of course I'm going to fail because I've already failed up here before I've even started. Yes, I did the long runs when I did London Marathon. Not enough of them. So that's what I'm doing convincing myself that I enjoy them and then I will enjoy it telling myself you don't hate marathons beautiful route I absolutely love this route one of my favorite of all time for easy miles uh, plenty of nice scenery woods ponds top tip here is to do these sorts of routes on your easy days because it really does encourage you to keep the heart rate down keep your pace controlled 
you know the terrain sort of determines that and plus you want to enjoy it a bit more looking around and enjoying the view one of my key things on improving this year fundamentally key things in improving this year has been slowing down on those easy miles so yeah guys that's what's happening i'm doing manchester marathon aiming for sub well 245 i'm gonna put in the work and i'm gonna be using this gopro a lot more to document the tra training both in the gym running nutrition mental and physical side effects of it um balance it around family and work life um you'll probably notice in my videos that i always include a bit of family life in there a bit of weight training because this is at the end of the day my channel my journey i do this for me and the kids more than anybody else obviously as well i want to help people inspire people um not that i'm any god's gift that's not what i'm talking about i'm just saying that you know it's always good to watch somebody setting targets and hopefully achieving those targets um and yeah i want to talk a bit more about how i finally hit what was my biggest target and the main reason why i'm moving towards the marathon now and that was sub 17 that had eluded me for some time and i've done it now twice seven uh, 16 42 and 16 41 with also a 1702 and a 1704 in the last few races so i know that it wasn't a one-off it wasn't a fluke the fitness is there the speed is there and even during my half marathon block training i kept that speed there because that's when i hit the new pb from 1642 down to 1641 which you can watch in this video here the gopro is running low now on battery uh, i hope you've enjoyed this today i've enjoyed getting it out there putting it out there talking about it um so yeah leave me a like please <laughs> subscribe and yeah what do you think Are you excited to see me take on the marathon what do you think about that going forward how many miles do you think i should aim for um like i said i was hoping to hit around 80 in the peak weeks so i'm a newbie when it comes to marathons you know i'm quite good at training plans and personal exercise programs but any tips on best ways to train for a marathon leave me a comment down below and uh, i look forward to it so guys that's it hope you've enjoyed this video i've been running man sam and i'll see you guys in a bit little bit of a uh, bonus content there for anyone that's really invested in the training uh 10 miles done there 8 30 average pace <laughs> including going over an absolute mountain which you can see here um it actually has got the little mountain symbol on strava <laughs> so yeah it's, it is like straight up and it's on um like that really sinky type farmer's muddy type thing and then as I got at the top of the hill, God, the wind was mental. Filming this on the phone because the GoPro's died. But yeah, glute felt all right, actually. Going up that hill kind of felt good towards the end of the run. I did stop a couple of times just to sort of give it a little wiggle and a prod. So I'll get in now and I'll do some foam rolling 
little bit of stretching, nothing too major on the glutes because I don't want to antagonize it too much. I hope you can hear this because my hand might be over the microphone, in which case all of this is wasted. But yeah, all right, that's it, I'm nearly back now. Finally food time, because I do intermittent fast. I've got this bonus content, it's gone on for about an hour. So well done you for sticking with this. Probably keep rambling on his still watch. <laughs> right, that's it, sharp jab, send a bit.